second. Ah, uh, well, Sayori. I fall. I failed to come up with an excuse for Sayori. I made it an adventure. Yeah, that. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. In any case, good work. I'll start working on the posters tonight. Me too. I don't want you getting hurt. Okay, everyone. Are you ready to share your poems? Guess I should grab mine. After making sure the crayon box is closed tightly, I return to my seat. Who should I read first? Sayori's. Because Sayori's corny, just like me. Dragon? I really love your poems. I can't believe you've been hiding these from me. Eh, I'm not hiding anything. But, your poems are so good. Yesterday's in this one too. You can't tell me you haven't done this one before. I mean, you're really the only one who feels that way, so... Eh, no way. Not even Natsuki. That was a question. But I said it like it was a statement. Well, I guess Natsuki is the least likely to admit how much she likes something. But I don't think it's that. What do you mean? Well, I guess I'll be honest about it. It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. Eh. Whoa. Stop thinking weird things, idiot. I just mean that you're a really expressive person, I guess. How am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? But you somehow make everything in your life an adventure. Even the little things. Like cooking. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> so yeah. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I can feel more things through you than I can through myself. We have that kind of weird connection. It's your fault for getting in any business all the time. Eh. I don't know if I understand. Ugh. You never understand when I try to explain to you. I explain things to you, do you? <laughs> I pat Sayori's head. Hey. I'm not a kid, you know. Are you sure? Hmm. Maybe? Sayori starts fiddling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, dragon. Will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Huh? Why? Because. Well. It's the first time you've written something for me. Heh. <laughs> uh. Sayori, you completely misunderstood. I didn't write this for you. Hehehe. <laughs> Ugh. Are you even listening anymore? Well, whatever. I'll give it to you when we go home. Really? Snap. Ah! I broke my pencil. Sayori hastily bends down to pick up the pieces she dropped. But being in that inattentive for her surroundings, she bumps right into me. This is a sorry. It's fine, it's fine. I'll get it for you. I bend down and pick up the broken pencil. Sayori clutches the desk behind her, or beside her to support herself, knees shaking. I, I am a little clumsy today. <laughs> Let's sit down, Sayori. Yeah. I grab Sayori's hand, arm, and help her sit at the desk. Anyway, I still haven't read your poem. Oh, sorry, I forgot about that. But it's not as good as yours. Jeez, don't worry. I'm sure I'll like it. Bottles, I pop off my scalp like the kid or the lid off of a cookie jar. It's the secret place that I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine. All rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. 
I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and I pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. That's what she said. But there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle has a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like the time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. That seems a bit creepy, to be honest. Finally all done, I open and in come my friends. In they come, such a hurry. Do they want bottles that much? I frantically pull one from the shelf, one after another, one after another, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the the between my feet, tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading sometimes. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Sayori, what was that? Did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but, I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I can tell. It's almost kind of creepy. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were some, some stanzas in there that were creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. And thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Oh, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing's the best. No, I wouldn't say so. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Oh, gosh. Uh, according to the internet, you don't have m much to write about. Don't get ahead of yourself. Zayori's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it more than one week later. No more than one week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Natsuki, and then we're gonna end it off. Hmm. Well, it's not really any worse than your last one. But I can't really say it's any better either. <laughs> what in the world was that? That sounded so bad. Phew, what? Ah, uh, well. Oh, come on. I didn't mean to click. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, that makes you... Or what makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment. Huh. Glad to see someone ex recognizes my experiment. experience. 
Well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. That's, uh... Something tells me that Natsuki completely missed the point. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, well I guess you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. But you never really struck me as her type. Sayori has a type of all of a sudden. That was a question, another question. Well, I don't know, but honestly, I can see someone... How can someone, er... So, er, fluffy, spend so much time with someone like you? It's like she's dragging around a dead weight. Ugh, that was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, this would probably just fly away. Like getting, like letting go of a balloon. You could say we each take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Amy likes spiders. Okay, that's a bit weird. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Okay. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound. To the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders. So her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends. Okay. What is this? This is not a poem. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. Okay, enough about the... That's why I'm not friends with her part. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It does not matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. Okay. Sayori... Or Natsuki, that was horrible. It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday was way, was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't like... I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone would agree with that subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course. It's how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're played afraid of if people find out. They'd make fun of you less. Or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone thinks or someone likes? As long as they're not hurting anyone, it makes them happy. And it makes them happy. I think other people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of people, other people just can too. It's what I do best after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm not going to write a poem for tomorrow, too. I'm going to write a poem. A good poem for tomorrow, too, so look forward to it. Okay. So hopefully this is not corrupt. That will be the video for today. Why? It's black. Um, 
if you liked it don't forget to give it a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video peace